Okay, hi, welcome to the Tour de Fritz. Uh, this is Kerwin Lumpkins speaking. Um, so what we're showing here is the uh, SolidWorks design file of Fritz. See a couple of different views of them here. We'll uh, zoom in and look at the neck motion. So we're able to do a, uh, a tilt. There it shows a little bit of the range of that motion. And also able to do a uh, rotate at the base using the, uh, a round thrust bearing that's high lit right now. And here's a little close-up view of that motor which provides the motion for rotation and here's the motor for uh, the tilt uh, driving gears on the other side uh, quick look here is just the what we call the skull box and we'll peer inside the, the brain pan as it were so these are eye control motors that one controls the y-axis of the eye motion and this is the x-axis control motor and then the motors that are mounted there on, kind of on the inside vertically, uh, they are the eyelid control motors. Let's have a little bit of a look here. We'll take off his front face plate, get a little better look in, uh, at the workings. We'll also uh, turn off the uh, eyeball, which is uh, just a, a hollow plastic shell. Get a look at this, this eye ring here. You can see the Y-axis motion. Uh, driven by the motor there on the other inside of the skull. You see these little uh, rings where the control wires attach and then there is a x-axis motion. We'll bring on the uh, eyelid assembly uh, real quick here and then let's drop out and look at just an isolated view of the uh, eyelid that consists of a, a mounting bracket that bolts onto the face and then there are uh, two eyelid halves and both of these move they are uh, mirrors of each other and they just kind of nestle inside of each other this little uh, detail area here is where the control wire for the eyelid uh, connects over to the motor so as the motor pushes and pulls the control wire now we get motion on the eyelid both the top and the bottom both move at the same time now here you can see that is simply how it gets uh, bolted onto the face. We'll open up here on the side, take off the side piece so we can kind of look in and see how everything comes together. And uh, have a quick look, there's the eyelid motor and then here's the actual Fritz moving. There's the X and Y and here you can see the eyelids moving. And the eyebrows very simply, they uh, simple. They just bolt onto the motor. There shows the range of the motion. And then finally, we have uh, the jaw motor, the last motor, and that moves the jaw up and down. And there you have it, the Tour de Fritz.